Hello, and welcome to our channel. We're, we're glad, glad you're here. here. Well, good morning, YouTube. Uh, there's where we're at so far on the uh, stove restoration. As you can see, we've got it pretty well, pretty well gutted down. Um, there's that broken oven section, and there's the piece that come off this corner. Uh, not positive yet how we're going to fix this oven. This is this is definitely way too thin to try and weld. Cast iron is almost impossible to weld anyway. Uh, so our thoughts are possibly taking little pieces of steel and almost making like little stitches to put along the cracks and bolting them together. And I found an epoxy that's supposed to be good up to 2400 degrees. And I thought about just coating the back side of it with that epoxy and then making a steel heat shield that would go basically from this edge up and then roll over top of the oven slightly to help, to help keep, the, uh, keep the direct heat off the back of this oven. There are little protrusions here that would help create an air gap that would, that would probably help with that. So that's, that's one of our thoughts there. And then another issue we have is this piece here is the top that went over top of the water jacket. And we were disassembling it, most of the bolts we either had to grind off or drill out. And when I drilled this bolt, I didn't have it drilled well enough and I was trying to wiggle it loose. And I've snapped this corner off of the top piece. Now with this one, we're pretty sure we're just going to epoxy it. Once again, you really can't weld cast. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe drilling into these... Oh, yeah, let's break it again drilling into these little flanges for somewhere for the epoxy to bite onto, getting this all cleaned up well. As a matter of fact, you can see here, maybe, we've got a fresh break and an old break. So this was already cracked before I broke it. Now I feel a little better. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this corner and this corner are an old break. Oh. This is the fresh break. So yeah, that was already cracked, so that's probably why it broke when I was pulling on it. But either way, we're going to maybe drill into this wall here, drill into here, just to give the epoxy somewhere to bite and fill that in with epoxy. Once again, 2400 degrees, This that, that should, you know, the stove might get six or 700, so 2400 degree epoxy should definitely be a, be a plus. But we've got to finish taking this apart. We've got uh, some screws across the bottom here to finish taking this front section off and then we can take the sides off the rest of the oven out and uh, the back piece once it's all tore down we'll get everything cleaned up and, and then put it back together uh, one neat thing I don't know if we can where I can show this the best that LT res side one um, every piece on here has got a designation like that stamped into it somewhere. This, this was obviously a, a kit when you bought it and you had to assemble it. So it's pretty cool that every piece has got some sort of a designation as to what, what it is and where it goes. So the oven sides, the little everything has that stamping on it. Now we did continue our research and um, there's really not a whole lot of information on these things on the internet. Um, we can't find uh, parts anywhere. Turn my light out of the way. Sorry about that. Uh, we can't find parts anywhere. Um, the manufacturer went out of business like in 1952, so there's you know there's not new old stock sitting on a shelf anywhere or you know any Kalamazoo parts to find. Uh, the research we did find, like I said before, was we found that 1934 catalog. And it describes, new in 1934, a copper reservoir and the oven bottom was supposed to be like a wavy pattern underneath. This does not have the wavy oven bottom and our water jacket or our water pan is steel. And that's another issue we have. Um, the bottom 
of this water pan has got a couple holes there. This back corner's rusted out. This front corner's rusted out. So we're also going to have to do some repairs on uh, on this water jacket. And those two little pieces laying in there, those are like bolt ears that go on the top plate of the oven. And those were also already they were already broken off, but they were so encased in soot and rust that they didn't come off until we started trying to take the bolt out. But uh, we'll need, need, probably need to epoxy those back on or try to do something with those. But there's where we're at on that. Uh, we got an unexpected repair on the top we need to make. Uh, worse condition oven than we thought we had uh, that needs to be repaired. But other than that, we're in pretty good shape. So we'll just keep, uh, keep tearing it apart. Once we get it all the way down, we'll probably do an update video at that point. And uh, once we start the reassembly, we'll, we'll try and film some of that as well. So that's uh, where we're at on the 19... Oh, where I was going with the other part. 1934 is where the changes were made. So apparently this is a 1932 or 1933. So our early 1930s Kalamazoo president oven and stove. We'll keep you updated on that. Uh, if anyone knows any information on that, again, please put it in the comments. So we can maybe get some parts for this. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and thumbs up. Have a good day.